Hey Slackers, welcome back to another lovely bite-sized tutorial video. Uh, this time we will be actually installing Backtrack 4. I forgot to mention that Backtrack 4 is designed initially to run off live CD or a bootable USB drive. So it's not actually installed yet. So we're going to cover that right now. So if you followed my last tutorial video to the letter, you got to this lovely desktop screen. Uh, what you do is you uh, install using the install.sh file. So you click that and wait for it to load. All right, it gives you this lovely, lovely little window and asks you what city you're in. So since I really, well, why not? We're in Denver today. So let's go to Denver. Ta-da! All right, forward. I think it asks you for the keyboard next. And uh, yeah, we're just running off the USB, or USA, rather, keyboard. It's going to start up the disk partitioner. Now, since this is a virtual machine, it only sees the virtual disk it's actually in. So, we're just going to use the guided use entire disk option. Hit next. Keep partitioning. Lovely. I love load times. They're so great. They give you time to eat muffins and stuff. All right, so it's ready to install. You hit the install button. If you wanted, you could read all this, but we're not going to. So we're going to let it do its thing. I'm going to pause and come back when this is all done. Hey folks, welcome back to the video. Uh, installation's complete, so we're gonna just restart the VM. Come back to you when that's done. All right, I forgot to mention that before you can restart the machine, uh, it goes back to the command line and asks you to please remove the disk and close the tray. Now, in my experience, this does not matter, so since there is really no tray to open and remove the media from, we're just going to hit enter anyway. All right, this is going to restart the system, and um, we're going to enter the menu here and go to the Ubuntu kernel, which is the default, really, at the very top. It's going to start up directly from the VM's hard disk. So, again, this is going to load. I'm going to pause, come back when this is done. All right, once it's done loading, it uses the login command line prompt again. So, uh, by default, you need to log in as root and then use the password tor, which is root backwards. So, T O O R. And then you run the start x command once again. So let me do that for you. All right, this is going to take us to the GUI once again. Alright, welcome back. Now, once you hear the lovely initiation music, you know you're done. So, congratulations, you've actually successfully installed Backtrack 4, for real, now, onto your virtual machine. So, thank you for watching. The next video will be covering how to crack web. So, stay tuned. Thank you for watching.